Okay, uh, so I've got gas in the piston cylinder assembly. It's initially at one bar and one cubic meter and has uh, an internal energy of 400 kilojoules. Uh, the gas then undergoes a constant volume process, process to 10 bars, pressure of 10 bar, and then it stays constant at that pressure to a volume of 0.1 cubic meters and a energy of 450 kilojoules. So I want to find uh, the work and the heat for the process. Okay. So what I'm going to start with is the idea of uh, my first law equation, which again is the change of energy. And in this case, all I have is internal energy, no kinetic or potential energy, is equal to my heat minus my work. Now, I actually kind of have two processes here between the total uh, states. I've got a constant volume and a constant pressure. Okay. But what I basically know here is that I do have a total change in energy of 450 minus 400, right? That's my final energy minus my initial energy. And what that's going to equal is my heat transfer minus my work. So my heat transfer minus my work equals 50, OK? Uh, so the other thing I can do now is I can use my work equation. Remember that my work equation is the integral of P dV, right? Pressure times a change in volume. For this process, I'll call that process A, right? The work of process A is zero, right? Because it's constant volume, right? Delta V equals zero. So that work is zero, okay? The work of process B, we'll call it, is that's my constant pressure process, right? So if pressure is constant, it comes out. So it's just pressure times the change in volume, right? So that's going to be my pressure times my change in volume, which will basically be V2 minus V1, OK? Where my pressure is 10 bar at this point, right? Remember, it starts here. But this is this, that second process, the constant pressure process. So it's going to be 10 times 10 to the fifth pascals times V2 minus V1, which is going to be 0.1 minus 1. Okay, And that's going to give me a work of negative 900 kilojoules. And that's really all of the work, because the first part has no work. The second part has negative 900. So now to find the heat transfer, I go back up to my first law equation, okay? And I say, okay, well then Q equals 50 plus this negative 900. Again, I get that just by rearranging this equation. I got 50, bring negative W over here. It's positive W, but it's a negative here. So my heat transfer is then negative 850 kilojoules. So that's how I use both my definition of work, which is PDV, and my first law equation, which is the change in energy is the heat minus the work to figure out the work and the heat transfer for this system.